My name is Dr. Renee Roberts. I am a board certified family medicine physician and also a fellow of the American Academy of Family Physicians. I have been working at Oak Street Health now for about seven months. Paxlovid is authorized for the use of adults over age 18, or if you're a pediatric patient, you must be at least 12 years of age and weigh at least 40 kilograms. In order to take Paxlovid, you actually have to have tested positive for COVID-19. So that can come in any form, whether that's a at-home test that you performed or whether you're in your doctor's office and getting a rapid test done there or the send out test, you have to have tested positive for COVID-19 in order to be given Paxlovid. Another really important point with Paxlovid as well is that you need to start treatment within five days of your positive COVID test. So we cannot stress that enough. If you had COVID two weeks ago, Paxlovid is not going to be effective for you. Paxlovid actually comes in two preparations. The majority of people will be taking a 300 milligram tablet and you'll be taking that twice a day for five days. There is another preparation that is available for patients that have renal disease or decreased kidney function. Paxlovid has been proven to have a great safety profile as well as being very efficacious with regards to keeping people out of the hospital and preventing deaths from COVID-19. And Paxlovid has also been approved for emergency use to treat mild to moderate COVID-19 infection. It's important to note that if you are having severe COVID-19 infection, any severe respiratory issues, inability to breathe, chest pain, Paxlovid is probably not going to be the best option for you. You should definitely seek the advice of your medical provider. Well, the most commonly reported side effect of Paxlovid include having a metallic taste in the mouth, as well as loose stools or diarrhea. Other side effects that have been reported include nausea, as well as muscle aches. So some patients that take Paxlovid end up experiencing what is called Paxlovid rebound. And essentially what that is, is like a reoccurrence of your initial COVID symptoms after having completed the five day course of Paxlovid. And the reason why that happens, um, it's just kind of dealing with how Paxlovid works. So essentially Paxlovid, once it gets inside your body, interferes with the virus's ability to multiply or reproduce. And so after you've completed the course of Paxlovid, there still could be some COVID virus remaining inside your body. And if the virus is there, it still has the potential ability to start multiplying again. And that inadvertently causes the reoccurrence of COVID symptoms in some patients. So if you test positive for COVID, the best way to go about getting a prescription for Paxlovid is to reach out to your medical provider. They may want to speak with you over the phone or might want to bring you into the office to examine you and speak with you further. But in order to get Paxlovid, you will need to obtain a prescription from your medical provider. But it's also important too to make sure that you do not have any chronic conditions that might interfere with your ability to be able to take Paxlovid, particularly patients that have kidney disease or decreased renal function as well as patients with liver disease. In many cases Paxlovid is not advised or not recommended in patients with kidney disease or liver disease. First and foremost, I think you should definitely reach out to your medical provider, let them know that you think you may have COVID or if you've done a home test that's come back positive, uh, let them know that you've tested and that your test is positive because they can obviously direct you to your next best steps. If you are at home and living with other people, making sure that you isolate as best you can so that you do not come in contact uh, with the other folks that are in your household to reduce the risk of spreading COVID to the other household members.